Nursery, it's Miss Dodd here and today I'm going to be reading your story for Storagey because when we get back to school I'm going to be in nursery and I am super excited. So today's story is called Cat and Dog and the author and the illustrator who wrote and um, did the pictures for this book is called Helen Oswald and Zoe Waring. So I hope you enjoy. But before we start, what do you think this book is going to be about? You let me know before we start. Cat slept in the day. Dog slept at night. But every evening, as the sun went down, they met for a scrap. One such evening, dog and cat scrap turned into a big argument. Is it true that you cats can see in the dark? asked dog. Of course, I'm over here, you silly dog, hissed the cat. Well, I don't believe you, barked the dog. Ouch, why don't you cats sleep at night like everyone else, howled the dog. We are busy at night, said the cat. Silly cat, your life all upside down, said dog. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Cat and dog turned their backs on each other. Uh-oh. It was the biggest argument they've ever had. Oh, no, that's not very nice, is it? Evenings went by and both dog and cat stood their ground. Dog only came out during the day. And cat only came out at night. Deep down, cat missed, scrapping with dog. And dog missed fighting with cat. But they were both too stubborn to say anything. Finally, one day, dog gave in and whispered, I'm sorry, I said your life was all upside down. Cat, I miss you. But cat was fast asleep and didn't hear a thing. But one night, Cat gave in too and whispered, I'm sorry, I dropped an apple on your head, dog. I miss you. But dog was fast asleep and didn't hear a thing. Oh, they look sad, don't they? The cat looks sad. I have an idea. How can I help dog stay awake all night? Thought Cat happily. Ouch! I thought cats were meant to land on their feet. Not when there's a silly dog underneath. What were you doing up there anyway? I was stringing up lights so you could see in the dark and we could scrap all night, answered Cat. What were you making that awful racket for? asked Cat. To help you stay awake so we can fight all day, said Dog. You're barking mad! Well, you're hardly perfect. Let's be the best of enemies and scrap forever. So every evening, from then on, the two friends scrap happily after all. The end, that was it. I wonder, would you prefer to be the dog or the cat in this story? I wonder if you can let me know. And can you also let me know what you thought of this story? Well, I'd love to know. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. See you later.